Hi, I'm Olivia Watts with the Urban Ash team at Point Three Real Estate and Seattle Rental Group. I seriously used to just do this for fun. It, like whenever anybody asks what my hobbies are, I don't have any hobbies because the one hobby that I have, I do for a living now. And then some one day I was like, there's no way that somebody would like get paid for looking for apartments and stuff because I used to do it for my friends all the time and for myself constantly, even though we weren't trying to move. And I saw an ad for Seattle Rental Group saying that they were looking for an apartment finder and I was like, what? That would be amazing. So I did that part time just as a little side gig while I was still at the gallery and then went, yeah, I'll just get my real estate license too. And it'll up the ante. I can look at even more homes. I was the associate director of an art gallery um, in Seattle for like over 10 years over 10 years since I brought the gallery. And it was fun, um, it was a great job. I was really passionate about it as well. I feel like I'm still really passionate about it and pushing artwork all the time too. I can't get that off of my mind, but yeah, I did that for like 10 years and I decided it was time for a change. And I also went to interior design school as well and studied architecture and art history, so just, Getting to see all of beautiful homes in the Pacific Northwest. I think we moved here when I was like 12. Um, and then I moved to uh, downtown Seattle like the second I graduated high school. Yeah, the second I graduated high school, I moved. I rented an apartment across the street from Nordstrom downtown on Fifth and Pine. We bought a house right at the beginning of the pandemic, and right as soon as they announced the West Seattle Bridge closure. Everybody was like, you're crazy, don't buy a house now. I was like, you're crazy, it's a perfect time. Nobody else is, I'm not gonna be in a bidding war. I'm gonna get it under asking. Like it was, mm -hmm. a good time. and I love West Seattle, but I really do miss living in the city, the regular Seattle. I've lived in every single Seattle neighborhood from previous, you know, years renting. I've lived on Capitol Hill and Eastlake and Queen Anne and Belltown a few times. and. Magnolia, Ballard. So I started doing like just apartment finding, um, which was really fun with the Seattle Rental Group. And then that grew into relocation and doing relocation tours. Um, and then that grew into leasing. So I do a lot of leasing, especially in uh, downtown Belltown condos. Um, and then just throughout it all, I've also been helping mostly buyers, working with a lot of first time home buyers, which is so much fun because I love seeing how excited people get when they realize what they can actually afford and mm -hmm. just like how many options they have. I mean, especially now with more things being on the market, but just when they find out what they can actually do, it's really exciting. So I like working yeah. with first -time home buyers and kind of just juggling everything right now. I'm doing leasing, I'm helping a few buyers. Um, got a couple of condo listings coming up in the spring and summer, hopefully. So just staying busy. The thing that draws me in first is architecture and design. And then I love, I love seeing how people use their spaces and just kind of getting to see, especially as a real estate agent, we get to see the history of homes. We have access to all that information. So I love seeing what people have done throughout the years to kind of make spaces work better for them. But, and then also just clients, my clients all become my best friends and we're just hanging out all day long, looking at houses, having fun, laughing, driving around, enjoying the weather. So yep. you know, nothing to not like. Real estate. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> I read a lot. I spend every waking minute mostly with my dogs and travel with my husband and wine taste. I don't know, just all these fun free time things. I think that 2023 and even just kind of, I know this is a time that slows down for a lot of real estate agents, but it really picks up for me a lot because I work with a lot of buyers and I'm convincing and telling everybody that now's a really good time to be a buyer. There's quite a bit less um, 
competition. Um, with the interest rates having gone up, you're able to you know, negotiate a little bit more because there are less buyers. Um, and then again, interest rates will constantly change. So I feel like that can change later. You can refinance and change it later, but right now is such a good time to get the home that you really want without having to fight over over 20 other offers all in hand. So I think 2023 is gonna see the market level out and just be a little bit easier for buyers. I mean, I know things kind of slow down in the winter months and uh, prices go down quite a bit, but you know, like we've talked about before, there are so many, so many new construction buildings going up and they're just trying to fill their units. So their prices, you know, they're pricing very competitively. So I think it's gonna be a good time also to get a pretty decent rate on, on a rental.